Can you stop being a little hermit and just work, cooperate with me here? Nearly lost my pineapple. Hi guys, today I'm going to do my August favourites for you. It kind of feels like August has been about a week long. Um, it's gone by insanely fast and as much as that brings us one month closer to death, great, great positive start there, Georgina. Wow. But that also means we're one month closer to autumn and Halloween and Christmas and more importantly we're obviously to September and September is the month that I finally return to my people in Newcastle back to uni and I'm so excited I'm counting down the days and I can't wait. Autumn excitement aside it is time to look back a little bit on August and talk you through some of the things I have been loving this month. I'm going to start off with a couple of hair favourites I've had this month. This month I've been trying to see a couple of new things with my hair in terms of what I use knit product wise, obviously. And I've honestly been so happy with the results, my hair has never felt healthier. So I've picked out two of my favourites that I've discovered this month to share with you. First one is the Philip Kingsley Trichotherapy Volumising Protein Spray. I am a massive fan of Philip Kingsley's products, I use so many of them on a daily basis and I think they have a product for everyone, like in terms of shampoos alone they have different ones for different hair types, um, their hair treatments like their elasticizer and their daily defense spray is universal, like everyone can use it and it's made my hair feel so good. So I was surprised that I'd never heard of this before but uh, my sister recommended it to me and basically what it is, it's just a volumising protein spray, so you spray it into your hair when it's wet before you dry it, and it just makes, I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand how it does it, but it just makes your hair feel so much thicker, like even from one use, after drying my hair, I was like, whoa, what is this, I've never had a volume in my entire life, like, my hair is so thin, and then I guess it has long term effects, but I was just amazed with how good my hair felt like just after one use so I have been using this every single time I've dried my hair and I love it so much I'm so happy that I have this in my life. Next hair product I have is the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length. Now I've been aware of this product for a while I remember Gabby of course when when am I not going to mention her in the video? I wonder. I think she might have put this in a favourites video or in a hair care video I just remember seeing it and her raving about how it made her hair, like she was trying to grow it out and it was really helpful. And I've wanted to try it for ages, but every time I've seen it, I've never been quite, because it's not, it's like, a, it's not a massive amount of money, but for something you're not sure is gonna work for you, spending like, I think 12, 15 pounds, I was a bit reluctant to do. But then I kind of stumbled upon it in boots when it was on sale, for like eight pounds or something, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm so glad I picked it up, because it, has honestly made my hair feel wonderful. I use it, oh, dropping it. I use this every time I wash my hair. Um, when I condition it, I put a normal conditioner through the ends and then I put this in at the root and then wash out as I would my normal conditioner. But it's just, as much as it hasn't done much for the length so far, because obviously I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, um, again, it just makes my hair feel amazing. And also it makes my hair smell really good, I don't know why, because it it, sm it smells up to me and I can't, I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like. But it's just so good, and as you can see I've almost emptied this one. It's just amazing and definitely give it a try if you're someone, keep dropping it! If you're someone who is trying to grow their hair out, definitely use this, it's amazing. Say amazing one more time, Regina. Say amazing. Moving on to beauty favourites now, there have been two products that I have been loving so much recently. They both kind of fall under the primer category, or at least that's how I've been using them. Uh, the first one is the Mali Perfect Prep Primer. I haven't been a massive fan of primers in the past. That sounds weird to say, like I'm a fan of what primers do. Like, obviously I want my makeup to last as long as possible and to go on as well as I could make it go on. But I've never really found one that worked for me. Like, again, with when I'm trying new products I'm reluctant to kind of spend loads on a product that I'm not even sure is going to be good for me. So, 
as much as I could have bought Benefit Primer or a MAC Primer, I was a bit worried, like, spending so much on a primer that I just didn't know, that I was just trying out on a whim. I hadn't really heard of the brand Mali. This, again, came from my sister. She got it for, uh, She got it at a beauty event she went to, and she doesn't really use primer, so she kind of passed it along to me. And it was just sat with my makeup for months, and I didn't use it, purely because I'd not had much luck with primer in the past, like I said, so I was like, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna bother using it. It wasn't until I was looking for a primer for my Five Stars concert to make my makeup last, but I gave it a try, and oh my god, am I glad that I did. It makes my skin feel so soft, it makes my foundation go on, go on so nicely, and it makes it last throughout the day, like I don't need to touch a concealer or anything, it's just incredible. And as I, I like with my Lee Stafford, it is almost empty, I've used it to death, I use it every day. And it's the first primer that's actually worked for me. But yeah, Mali, haven't heard of any of this stuff before, but I'm definitely going to try more of their stuff, just because this has been such a favourite of mine. Next thing is the Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoo. I, I could probably say that a bit better. Get your words out. Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoo. This is in the shade Pink Gold. At the beginning of the month I was going through a phase where I was wearing a lot of kind of light pink shimmery shades and I found this to be a really nice um, kind of cream colour just to put on um, like underneath as like a primer and not only does it make the colour stand out a lot more but it makes it last really well and I was actually really impressed considering it is a drugstore brand this is actually really good and I've just been obsessed with it, I've been wearing it every day. Um, this is my second one I think actually that I've gone through, like I had one before that I completely used to death, like there was hard, there was just like a tiny little ring of it left around the outside and that was when I knew I had to, to like invest in a new one. I've also invested in a couple of the other colours because they come in, I think there's like six or eight different colours. I've got the on and on bronze and one of the gold shades, but I can't remember the name right now, but this has been my favourite purely because it's goes best with a lot of the eye shadows I've been wearing at the moment. But yeah, absolutely love it, obsessed, will continue to use probably throughout the rest of the year unless a bare thing comes along, but yeah, staple item this month. Next item I have is a style favourite and it's these Aztec print Vans-esque plimp soles from Misguided. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, I have been obsessed with these. I've been wearing them at every opportunity I can get this month. Um, I was looking for a shoe like this because um, I'm a massive fan of comfy shoes, like I pretty much live in Converse, but this summer I have got a little bit lazy and the, I, it was getting to the point where I, weren't wear, I wasn't wearing Converse and wearing things like uncomfortable boots in the heat, purely because I couldn't be bothered to sit down and do laces. So I was looking for something this kind of slip-on, classic Vans style, just because I think they look really cute, um, really casual, and also just really easy to slip on if you're going out somewhere. I remember seeing these last month on Misguided's website and falling in love with them, but they were £25, and at the time I couldn't quite justify it. But then I was browsing the Misguided sale, and they'd been reduced to £7, so I was like, absolutely, yes, in my basket, next day delivery, I need them in my life. And I'm so glad I bought them, I can't, I'm so glad I found them because they have just been a godsend and they're so comfortable and they can make a really casual outfit look quite cute because they have got this cool pattern to them. Like I can just go out in jeans and a plain t-shirt and pop these on and it looks quite cool and quite quirky. I've just been loving them so 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 much. and. I'm probably going to continue wearing them into the winter, even though they're not very seasonally appropriate. But I don't care because I love them so much. Yes, I do. Yes. Moving away from kind of style and beauty favourites now, I'm going to go into some kind of everyday favourites. I've got two TV favourites this month, both of which have been recommended to me by my dear friend Alex. First of which is So You Think You Can Dance which is an American reality show, kind of like 
X Factor, but for dancers. I have become a little bit obsessed with dancing and I'm blaming Alex completely. Like he got me into Strictly Come Dancing and like to begin with. And then he's given me this new show which has loads of different styles of dance. Like it's got contemporary, it's got tap, it's got jazz, it's got hip hop, it's got ballroom, and it's all done by professionals, so every routine is just amazing and I'm invested and it's kind of taking over my life a bit. So thanks Alex. Thanks. And the next yet second TV show has also come from Alex and it is Gravity Falls which if you've not heard of it is a cartoon show that I think is on Disney Channel and it's meant to be aimed at kids but as I understand it there's quite a big teen slash young adult following purely because it's quite it's like a lot of mysterious, there's a lot of shady stuff that goes down on it. So it's kind of got that pretty little liars aspect that keeps you want, like at the end of each episode there's a little bit more that keeps you, a little bit more of the story is revealed so you want to keep watching despite the fact that it's like a cartoon for 10 year olds. Uh, my music favourite for this month has been Tori Kelly. I have been aware of Tori Kelly for a while and I've heard a couple of her songs and thought they were just like really cute and fun but um, I was looking for new music before I went on my trip down to Surrey because I'm sure I'm not the only one that likes to update my music before I go on like a long journey in a car or on a coach or whatever and I decided to listen to her debut album and some of her EPs I just think her music is so lovely and it's just the perfect sound for summer like Driving along with your sunglasses on, with California lovers blasting out is just such a great feeling. And what I love about her music as well, like it's got the balance between um, there's cute, really cute romantic songs, but there's always there's quite like badass songs as well. And then one of my favourites is Dear No One, which I know is kind of like an obvious song of hers to like, but I just like the attitude that the song has, where it's kind of like I'm okay that I I'm okay that I don't have anyone. I would quite like someone, but I'm not too bothered right now. And I just she, I just love everything that she's about, and yeah, I'm just obsessed. So yes, girl. Four for you, Tori. You go, Tori. My YouTube favourites for this month have been Lucy and Lydia. Now, they aren't, again, they aren't a new discovery for me this August. I love those girls so much. I love their hair and makeup and clothes and their channel. They're just such, they're definitely inspiration for me, like their goals. But yeah, so I've watched their videos for a while now, but I feel like their videos, like at the end of July coming into August, have just been so good. Like, I've loved all the look, uh, get the look videos they've done, and I don't know what, like, what's changed, but they're just, uh, they're so much fun to watch, and I've really enjoyed them this month. So, points to you girls, you've really, it's not like a step, your videos were so good before, but now they're just, they're just amazing and I love them so much. They're, they're some of my favourite ones to watch now. Every time I see them upload I get a little, ooh, what's it going to be this time? And yeah, I've been loving them. So yeah, that's what I've been loving this month. Uh, feel free to comment below what you've been loving this month. I would love to hear if it's been style, beauty, TV, YouTube, whatever. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because that would also be pretty cool so I can know if I'm doing a good job. You can also subscribe to me below um, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me. I'm really trying to upload more videos and really get into the swing of this YouTube thing because I'm having a lot of fun really. Yeah, I think, I think I'm doing okay as well. But yeah. Also, if you want to keep up with what I've been doing, you can find all my social networking links below. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, all that good stuff. And come say hello. Come chat to me. Come tell me about your day. I don't mind. And yeah, that is everything. I hope you've all had a really good August and that it's been productive or, or lazy or fun or exciting or challenging or whatever you wanted to get out of August I hope that's what you've achieved and I hope you have a really good September too and hopefully I will see you in my next video bye it's not behaving I'm not, even, I'm not in mourning for August at all. I'm ready for autumn. I really am. Look at me. High necks, dark lips. I am ready. Bring on 
October and Halloween and leaves and coats and the cold and everything. I'm just so ready to leave this heat behind and get back to proper England. I feel like I should have more to talk about, but I've been boring recently. I've just been going to work. I feel like I'm such an adult. What is this employment? Anyway. Bye!